These stories are inspired by the actual case files of the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. Graphics are uh, a work in progress, but the interaction between the VR world and the player is groundbreaking technology. That's remarkable. Each suit contains over 200,000 biofeedback sensors, sending and receiving sensory information to and from the player. The simulation is more than just a game, Frank. You live it. It's most impressive. The possibilities are endless. Watch this. Going to level two, people. Uh, Ooh. Cover me. Okay. okay. Cover me, I'm moving up. It's almost like I felt that. Okay. Have Dr. Hendricks report to the White Room. We have a situation. Uh, She's been hit. That's impossible. This is just a simulation. Many psychologists and theologians agree that we become the product of choices we make in life, good and bad. We try to put painful experiences behind us and move on. But much as we might want to escape our problems, they often come back to haunt us. Case managers report, an accident at OSIR Central Lab has prompted our investigation into a virtual reality game that may have seriously injured one of its players. Prager out. So now we're leasing out our lab facilities? Why don't we just pitch a tent and hold the Babylon 5 convention? Just because research has commercial potential doesn't mean it shouldn't be investigated for its scientific possibilities. <laughs> we're talking about computer games. And need I remind you that Tesla's work is cutting-edge technology. I think that investigating the link between the woman's injury and the game should prove worthy of our very best efforts. Don't you? Sorry. Looks more like an abrasion than a burn. As if you were struck by a blunt object. All right. Put this on. 
Now, you may have some scarring. So, I'd advise seeing a plastic surgeon. No, it's not that bad. All right. We'll see when it heals. But if you need a referral, just ask me. You're very kind. Hi, Edie. I'm Lindsay. I saw the tape of what happened. Um, are you ready to talk about it? Uh, the, the, the helmet and the suit together, they, they uh, create a total sensory experience. Solid design. I don't see how it shortened it out. Oh, no, it didn't. No, there's no hot contacts near the skin. So how'd you get hurt? Well, I don't know, but near as I can figure, it must have been some kind of um, psychokinetic interaction. Okay, well, let's check it out. Why is Frank having us operate out of the mobile lab? Matt, when was the last time you read your procedure manual? Central Lab is the event site, so we have to operate from a neutral territory. Yeah. Maybe. My preliminary interview with Adia is inconclusive. She's holding back, and I don't know why. Yet she agreed to let me check her out for psiability. What about her partner? Victor Granger. Yeah, uh, he wasn't injured, right? No. So, the phenomenon centered on her. Victor and Adia developed the game together. They've worked at Tesla Industries for two years. Okay, let's run a full background on him and, uh, you know, Grant Tesla. Mm -hmm. Alessandro's not gonna like that. Music to my ears. What's bugging you, Matt? Uh, Frank's just not being straight with us. There's a new slash. Frank always has an agenda. Exactly. I mean, are we helping Gadia, or are we just towing the party line? We're just gathering information and trying to sort it out, like we always do. Frank's holding back on us. I can feel it. Let's give him a dose of his own medicine. The concept of the game is teamwork. Covering each other's back. Virtual reality or not, Adia was hurt because I didn't protect her. I don't think she sees it that way. Well, I do. Are you too close? What's that got to do with anything? I'm just trying to get the facts straight. Victor, if what happened to Adia is paranormal, then anything about her may relate to the event. Adia's had a tough life, okay? Okay. So tell me about her. Where's she from originally? Hong Kong. My family's still there. Mm -hmm. And is uh, Carling your married name? No. After my father died, my mother married a Canadian. They met in Hong Kong, where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Is that where you met Victor? At the university, yes. Just try to relax. This is only a machine for measuring things like electromagnetic patterns and, and brainwave activity. Is it going to hurt? No. Won't hurt a bit. Uh, mind if I borrow the good doctor for a moment? I think I'll survive. attach some more to your arm. One of the police coming in. The police? What makes you think we call the police? My God. Let me look at that. No! Adia, what is it? No, please, I can't. I can't do this. Please. What's wrong? I have to go. I have to go now. No, no, no. Careful, careful. Just take a deep breath. Try to relax. Calm down.
that scar tissue formed that fast. It's completely healed. How's Adia? Resting. Okay, we've got spontaneous wounds and spontaneous healing. Any spontaneous answers? The first thing that comes to mind is some variation on stigmata, but those are the wounds of the crucifixion. And more likely in someone with a Christian upbringing. Yes, but on closer examination, it appears to be an old wound. Looks like it's been healed over for years. And there are others, both wrists. And her left arm is severely disfigured. Did she tell you what happened? She refuses to talk about it. No. Maybe the game brought out some kind of latent paranormal ability. Possibly. I haven't been able to determine that yet. The tax department says that Adia Carling didn't even exist until two years ago when she started working for Tesla Industries. Okay, uh, make some discreet inquiries at immigration. Anything on Tesla? Oh, active in all kinds of high-tech R&D. They've diversified into everything from talking teddy bears to the aerospace industry. I invested in Tesla Industries. Hmm. Don't seem like the talking teddy bear type. Well, I happen to think Tesla's a genius. What kind of cash do you think he sunk into those suits? <laughs> a lot. Right. Of stockholders' money. Maybe it's time to look at your portfolio. I haven't finished my coffee yet. Here. Gentlemen. Mr. Tesler, Peter Axon. Thanks for seeing us. Of course. Listen, I'm afraid it's uh, it's not a good day. Yeah, this won't take long. Love what you've done with the place. Well, we like to keep the environment worker friendly. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. It's a room full of doogie housers. Most of them are just out of school. Fresh young minds, fresh new ideas. Suddenly I feel very old. Oh, don't sell yourself short. There's always room for a man with your experience. Actually, Frank tells me you're quite a remarkable scientist in your own right. He said that? Yes. <laughs> How'd you find Adia? Well, when I hired Victor, he insisted she was part of the package. So far, I've had no regrets. Any trouble getting her a work visa? I wouldn't know. I have people to take care of those details. Well, we'd like to see Adia's records, uh, Victor's too. I don't think I can do that without their permission. Ah, they won't mind. How's Adia doing? Well, I'd say she's, uh, she's made a, a miraculous recovery. Good. Well, I'll call Frank. We should uh, get back to work as soon as possible. Technical, call 409. Technical. We'd like to recreate the parameters of your previous test. Of course. Of course. Uh, is Adia up to it? Yeah. Mr. Tester, with all the resources at your disposal, why did you need our lab for your research? Well, the... Uh, Timing was a little tight, and your space was available, so... And I don't have to tell you how top-notch your facilities are. Yeah, <laughs> we even get to use them ourselves sometimes. So, would you buy a used test tube from that techno-weenie? Hey, watch it. Some of my best friends are techno-weenies. Uh, he's a wolf in geek's clothing. You know, fresh out of college, I would have killed to work for a guy like that. Paranoid, or we've been followed. I don't know. Maybe left. Okay, Parker. Let's find out who this guy is. like this has ever happened to you before? No. Does anyone in your family have any kind of unusual abilities? When I was a little girl, my grandmother could see the future in tea leaves. People would come to our village from the provinces just to have their fortunes told. We were very close. I thought Victor told me you were from Hong Kong. I moved there for university. Dr. Hendricks mentioned that you had some scarring. What's that from? Car accident. It was nothing. 
They seemed to think it was pretty serious. Was that in Hong Kong? Yes. Adia. Adia, if we can't be honest with one another, we're both just wasting our time. Why don't you tell me about your work at Tesla? Victor and I are adapting fuzzy logic constructs to the game program and developing the interface with the suit diagnostics. You had no right to harass Grant Tesla. We asked the guy a few questions. And what's that got to do with the girl? Come on, Frank. Tesla's experimenting in virtual reality. He hires a woman whose body interacts with the game as though it's the real thing. You call that a coincidence? Oh, here we go again. The grand conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay, uh, what about the no-necks and bad suits tailing us? No, this has got to stop. This has got to stop. Matthew, we're on the same team. Then quit hogging the ball, Frank. <laughs> All right, I will admit that in the past there were times when I kept certain things from you for valid reasons at the time. So you'll be straight with me when you feel like it, is that it? If we have a problem here, I still have your resignation on file. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Case log update. There's a growing connection between Tesla Industries and OSIR senior staff. Lindsay Donner continues to work with Adia Carling. So far, with inconclusive results. Bring her up. Once. Sure. Excuse me, just a minute. What's up? We, uh, we need to repeat the experiment. I'm not sure she's ready for that. What's the rush? Well, I guess I'll like the way Frank's sniffing around. <laughs> Man, we've got to move this along at her pace, not we got to find out what Frank and Tesla are really after. The 80s all we've got. If you push her, she may shut down or worse. Are you prepared to live with that? Well, we might have to decide. Am I in trouble? No. No. Adia, um... We, we need you to do something for us. We need you to play the game again. Pedia, you don't have to do this. She's right, you don't. You can you can walk out of here right now. That's right. I'm afraid. It's okay. It's all right. Adia, if you don't help us, and you're on your own. Now, this test will help determine if the game triggers any latent psychokinetic ability. Only if the, the suit fits. I wish Victor were here. Yeah, we tried to find him. Did you check a Tesla? Yeah. This is media. I think we'll make a great team. It's just a game, remember? The last time, we had just moved to combat level two. Well, and that's where we start. I appreciate your assistance, Grant. I know how valuable your time is. Yeah, the rent on this place must be a killer. Shall we begin? OK, guys, ready when you are. Let's go. All right, let's crank it up. It isn't going to work. She's afraid to be hit. She's just a little scared, that's all. The whole point of the exercise is to repeat the experiment. Can't have it both ways, Matthew. Yeah, I'm afraid. Talk to her, Grant. Adia, this is no time to get cold feet. If we scrub the project, all the work you and Victor have done is gone. Do you understand? Come on, Adia, let's go. Nice shot. Okay, go. What's that? 
Relax, Mr. Prager. It's a random part of the game program. We're moving to level three. Ooh, well, shouldn't you tell her that? Hey dear, what is it? Shut it down. Victor, where's Victor? We'll find him. Are you all right? My God, she's been shot. <laughs> I'll call an ambulance. Put pressure on that. Keep the pressure on. She's losing blood. Oh, it hurts. I know it does. If you listen to me, you've healed yourself before. You've got to remember how to do it again. Concentrate. Visualize it. Heal. Come on, Ian. after all. Hey. What? You happy now he got your way? Anton says AD is fine, but the blood made it look worse than it was. So we got lucky. We could have killed her. Why don't you think I know that? Then what were you trying to prove? Ah. If you were trying to cut Elsinger out of the loop like you said you were, then what was he doing there? I had no choice! The hell you didn't! I told you Adia wasn't ready for this, but you had your own agenda. It was a risk we had to take. Oh, right. So, so we just uh, forget about the subject and gather the data. We well, you know who you sound like. Frank. This isn't about personal agendas. It's not about yours. It's not about Frank's. This is about helping someone who trusted us. Okay. This just came in. Maybe it'll give you something else to think about. Figure those goons in the parking lot were military? Well, Lindsay says her license plate was secured government issue. She's still decoding it. Still nothing? No EM flux, not so much as a blip of radiation. Phenomenon had to be localized within her. It looked like a spray from an Uzi. You gotta wonder about the battle scenarios and strategy in this so-called game. Yeah, military applications. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Tesla has any defense contracts up his sleeve. Wouldn't doubt it. Frank? Axon, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk about Tesla Industries. Look, if you're gonna give me a hard time, you might as well just forget it. Why would I do that? Matt said you're upset. Not with the visit itself, but with its tone. In the end, no harm was done. It appears that Grant Tesla is quite impressed with you. <laughs> Tesla recruits aggressively and we can't match what he pays. It starts with a casual lunch, then an expensive dinner to meet the department heads, just to exchange ideas, of course. Yeah, well, I don't think I'm looking to make a move just yet. And what exactly are you looking for, Peter? A suburban bungalow and a minivan, or the 
unifying force of the cosmos. <laughs> Do you ever ask questions that you don't know the answers to? I can help you get it. Really? Tesla also does pure research. I know. We have several joint research projects. You could head one of them up if you like, in addition to your normal duties. Just let me know. What about the team? I'm sure Matthew would adjust somehow. Mm. In any case, you don't have to decide right now. Let's do lunch <laughs> next week. I've added a mild sedative to the runner just to uh, smooth out the edges. Thanks. Okay, just take your pulse. You've survived worse than this, haven't you? These scars are from manacles, perhaps rope burns. It was a long time ago. Some scars go deeper than the skin, don't they? My name. My name is Ning Li. According to immigration, Ning Li's request for sanctuary as a political refugee was refused for lack of evidence. She's been dodging deportation for over two years. Just before she and Victor joined Tesla Industries. That's right. You didn't alert the authorities, I hope. No, I used my inside contacts. Now, Adia provided Tesla Industries with a fake visa to go along with her fake passport. That would have cost her a fortune on the black market. Uh, Anton, she give you anything else? She escaped from a prison in Hunan province and somehow got to Hong Kong. Jeez. Her pain is all too real. And the wounds she's manifesting are, are not new. They're emerging from scar tissue. All the wounds. Mm -hmm. And somehow they're being triggered by the game. Tesla's game has military written all over it. Well, if this guy succeeds in linking a computer to the human brain... Then you'd have a remote control soldier. Passion of the game through the mainframe. Tiananmen Square. Maybe that's her way of confronting her past. She puts a lot of herself into her work. Yeah. Like Anton said, old wounds. Hmm. Well, we all have to live with those. Brigger. Thank you, Curtis. I'll have the file information sent over this afternoon. Right. What's this about? I'm transferring this case to Curtis Rawlins' team. Please update your summary. Have it on my desk by 1,500 hours. Frank, I, I almost got Adia killed. I can't just walk away from this. Protocol suggests otherwise. You're far too close to this, too emotionally involved. This was never about testing a game, was it? It was about testing Adia. For what? An illegal immigrant with a strange power. The perfect test subject. I won't let you use her, Frank. 1,500 hours, Matthew.
Get Harmon immigration. You're in a hell of a lot of trouble, sir. Six of hearts. Anybody know where the remote is? I know how this ends. Got friendly aliens at Area 51. <laughs> Mr. Prager, step outside, please. Hey, I made bail. Hope you weren't too uncomfortable. We call it the Celebrity Motel. No, I love sharing a bathroom with strangers. It, uh, it reminds me of summer camp. Standard procedure. We had to make sure you were who you claimed to be. Hey, you weren't exactly handing out business cards yourself. You could have told me you were a fed. You know, why'd you take off like that? Couldn't afford to have you blow our cover. We've had Tesla under surveillance for some time. Suspicion of hiring illegal immigrants. Frank, never thought I'd be glad to meet you at a cheap motel. I'm sure that made you feel right at home. Were you aware the woman calling herself Adia Carling was an illegal alien? Well, yeah, technically, but... Thank, thank you, Matthew. Mr. Harmon, <clears throat> we're convinced that this woman is a genuine political refugee. Not according to the paperwork. Well, can we at least talk to her? What is she to you? Mr. Harmon... Your boss is Mike Preston, right? That's right. Well, I'm sure he'd be very pleased to hear how very cooperative and kind you have been. I'll see what I can do. I want your team to wrap out this investigation. Huh. Any danger of me mistaking this for a vote of confidence? <laughs> to have your lawyer present. I want to see Victor Granger. I'm afraid not. What exactly were you doing at Tesla Industries? Why did you falsify your documentation? I was afraid. Afraid of what? Being sent home, back to prison. A criminal record. Miss, unless you cooperate, your plane for Beijing leaves tomorrow morning. What the hell? Did you cut yourself? Jesus! Get a doctor in here. Put your hands over your head. Keep them there. You'll be okay. To the best of my understanding, Adia has repressed everything about herself, her own name, her family, the person she was before she escaped from that prison. Look, I can't put a yarn like that in my report, Doctor. You can't send her back there now. Let us prove it to you. How's that? I have a theory. It's only just that. The game triggers Adia's suppressed memories. Now, with regressive hypnosis, I can safely guide her back through those experiences and help her put them to rest. Wait a minute. Just by hypnotizing her? Sometimes the only way to get on with the present is to, uh... Just get rid of the past. Sounds like some kind of new age thing. Okay, here's the deal. You can have her only under my supervision. The boyfriend remains in our custody. And that's all pending approval Thanks, from my supervisor. Mike. Already taken care of.
Please don't let them send me back. Idiot. We're getting you out. Now, Dr. Hendricks has a plan. But it'll mean facing what you've been through. You up for that? Yes. If that's what it takes to end this. There's an expression. That which does not kill me makes me stronger. I think you could teach Nietzsche a thing or two on that topic. You could too, I think. The past can hold you back. But only if you let it. Wonder why Frank isn't here to see this. You ever think he might be just letting us do our job? Not even for a minute. What's he doing? Heart rate slowing. Beta waves increasing. Panathol's taking effect. Anton should have no trouble hypnotizing him. How old are you? 22. Let's go further back to your days as a student in Beijing. Ningli, how old are you? 18. Where are you? Beijing, the student protest. <laughs> the soldiers are everywhere. Snipers on the rooftops, the tanks. But we are strong. The people are on our side. What's happening with the soldiers? The students are throwing rocks at them. No, no, stop! Stay with it, idiot. Stay with it. You're in total control. What's happening? The rocks! I had to stop them. They were throwing the rocks. Building Anton. Beta waves peaking. I know this hurts, but it's only a memory. You've got to fight it. You've got to go on. It's only a memory. Good. Now, try to remember how you healed yourself. What did you think about? I fell out of a tree once. My grandmother held me. Her hands were so soft. I smelled of oranges. Good, good. It's working. All right. Now don't be afraid. Remember, you can wake up whenever you want to. Right? Where are you now? Still in the square. Tiananmen Square. The soldiers. The soldiers are shooting. Only a memory. No! Run! That's what you too! Leave me! Run! Stay with it. Fight it. Remember now your grandmother's touch. Remember how it felt. 
Is there somebody gonna call 911? She's okay. Good. You did it, Iggy. You did it. Biostats returning to normal. Heart rate stabilizing. We only have a little way to go. All right? Now, what happened after the riot? Jail, trial, Hunan <sighs> prison. They want names. I got some names. enough Harmon's supporting 80s refugee claim this should be the break she needs well, let's hope so I could have blown it for or worse thanks for pulling me back anytime think Tesla's uh, military? If he's not, he's working for someone who is. Frank's not alone in this. So how do we stop him? By knowing who to trust. As you can see, her abilities can be accessed through hypnosis. Which suggests an underlying ability to control them. I just wish we'd had the suit on her to fully record her physical responses. I'm sure you'll have enough information here to continue with your studies. Good work, Frank. Thank you. Anytime. Coming? Yeah, sure. See you later. the power of the wind, channeled the strength of water, split the atom. But as in the case of Adia Carling, we are reminded that we cannot always control the energy of the human mind. For Sci Factor, I'm Dan Aykroyd.